Hey film friends, I'm Nick Furman. This is Furman on Film. Welcome to the channel. Civil asset forfeiture. What? Don't all your slow burn pressure cooker thrillers have heady concepts like these at the center of them? How about the complex web of small town police stations stretched thin and judges, clerks, and civil law? No? Yet here we are. It's the rare film that is somehow viscerally pulpy and miles deep. A picture where brain meets brawn in the hulking frame of the wondrous Aaron Pierre. This is Jeremy Sonier's Rebel Ridge. I left alone. My mind was blank. Hey, if you're like me, you never saw this one coming. I've given my fair share of criticism for Netflix new releases. Have you heard of Uglies? Come on. But occasionally we get something that sneaks up on us and announces its presence in a big way. I should have known too, because guys, this is just what Jeremy Sonier does. This man is a master of minimalist action with a gift for commanding tone building simmering tension into an all-out adrenaline rush. Across films like The Green Room, Blue Ruin, and now Rebel Ridge, he continues to make gritty genre flicks that somehow pack a punch not only in their stylized action, but in the messages they convey as well. And he's after something here again thematically. This is a picture that is about injustice and corruption, twisted power dynamics in small town America. But what sets his films apart is how grounded and well-researched they are. This is nowhere more apparent than in Rebel Ridge, a kind of neo-Western that somehow teaches us about civil forfeiture, dash cam footage, laws about holding misdemeanors in local cells, and dozens of other things. I mean, it really gets in the weeds. But what makes Sonia so great is this is never heavy-handed. His films aren't didactic. They're not agenda-driven political screeds. What they are first is incredibly well-written, almost shockingly so for all the nefarious crap his characters are getting into during the course of this film's plot. It's intense and intelligent first, and therefore never devolves into these ultra-violent, high-body-count fantasies. There are no cartoon villains. Instead, it's Don Johnson's best work in years as a small-town police chief trying to survive a lawsuit and a budget freeze. It's people doing awful things, many of them while wearing badges or sitting in courthouses, but in a way that almost sickly makes sense when we consider the circumstances. Then you add to this exceptional screenplay just really inventive action in key moments. Aaron Pierre is a total standout here. He fully looks the part of a close quarters combat expert. But it's not only his physical form, it's the weight of his presence and composure. So that when he does start seething with rage, we feel it. And his line deliveries are so fierce, they play like one-liners from old action movies, but they seem much more true to life. It's action with none of the fake campiness of that era. Speaking of that, you know, it's funny. Action flicks have tried to catch the lightning in a bottle that First Blood did ever since its debut in 1982. Most fall woefully short, but Rebel Ridge not only steals the format from that great Stallone flick, it updates the message in a timely way too. Throw in the fact that this is essentially that old tried and true Western formula of a righteous man rolling into town and taking down the entire network of corruption, and you've got one hell of a thriller on your hands. Well, look, I don't have much to say against this one. For a genre exercise in slow burn action, it's pretty unimpeachable. But I will just say that this one does get a little naughty with its plot. This is kind of what modern noir has become. Not just the man on a mission trying to solve the mystery tropes, but a really convoluted legal story. I mean, Rebel Ridge gets into the nitty gritty of laws and codes, how many days until things are admissible in court. And there's a whole lot of this character does this one thing and that rolls the dominoes down on another character's actions and so on. Now listen, this is part of what makes the story so brilliant. But I will say, I could see how this could lose some folks if they were to view it in a theater. I needed plenty of pause times to catch up or a bit of rewinding to hear a few lines of dialogue again. Because of its complexity, some of the characters are tasked with heavy exposition about small town legal matters. I think it's all pretty exceptionally written, but you really need to focus not to miss the finer details. Finally, I'll just end with a question, which is kind of connected to all that this film is burdened with from a message standpoint. Could Rebel Ridge have been 
15 minutes shorter. In between that phenomenal scene setting opening 45 minutes or so and the stunning conclusion, is it possible we could have just trimmed off a few of the heavy dialogue moments? I think it's a question worth considering. So, what do we conclude? Rebel Ridge is a modern Western thriller that tackles themes of corruption and injustice in small town settings. Director Jeremy Saunier crafts an intense, tightly woven narrative filled with gripping action and thoughtful storytelling. Although its intricate plot can be dense at moments, the film rewards viewers with its layered suspense and Aaron Pierre's magnetic presence. It's a compelling journey that will keep you on edge and deep in thought long after the credits roll. I left alone. My mind was blank. Well, there you have it. The only thing left to discuss is our rating for this picture. FOF gives Rebel Ridge 4.4 out of 5 stars. If you enjoyed this review, let us know by giving us a thumbs up and subscribing to the channel. Also, don't forget to visit FermanOnFilm.com for even more movie content. Thanks for watching. I'm Nick Furman. This is Furman on Film. Stay firm, my friends.